So I wanted to do this review video when I had the 9.5.7 update so I can include it. But since I have the T-Mobile version, I could not update it. I have to wait for them. So I'm still waiting for it. And that video will be separate in terms of just the update alone. So be subscribed and check out for that later on. So since the update is mainly about the camera, I'm just gonna talk about my experience with this current version I have. And so far it's great when you're shooting with the main camera or the main sensor. But once you're, once you're shooting out of that, then the wide angle and telephoto, they're decent. Um, especially in daylight, they're fine. But once you hit low light, like indoors, like in this situation in this room right now, then the performance of the camera is not the best. You can still get pretty tack sharp photos if your hand is really still or the subject is still. But my main um, downfall was mainly the camera performance. And that's pretty much about it. I just hope that the newest update or the future updates will just fix the indoor low light performance of the camera, but we'll see when I get it. So let's move on to the physical phone and the phone is really huge. I have small hands, but the button placement is placed well. In terms of naturally putting it or holding it in my hands, my thumb and fingers are really close to the power button and volume buttons. So I don't have to do a lot of effort reaching for them. Now I do have to reach a lot or put an effort to reach when I wanna tap the top part of the screen, but that's just how it is on bigger phones. The silent vibrate switch is farther to reach, but I don't mind it because if I'm intentionally wanting to put my phone to silent, then I don't mind reaching for it. The screen is a beast. No notches, no punch holes, and no teardrops. All you get is screen. With the crazy refresh rate, it's super sharp and super fast, especially when I'm scrolling through really quickly, I can still see how sharp the text are. And for those who games would really understand this because if you upgraded your monitor from a 60 hertz to 144 hertz while playing games you can tell the difference of the screen so it's the same concept here but on your phone and i think that this is the biggest difference between other phones versus the oneplus 7 pro is the screen refresh rate so when you're scrolling through facebook online browsing or articles a lot of things are really sharp and for those who really like playing games on a phone then this will make a huge difference as well so if I want to consume social media or just watch videos, by far the OnePlus 7 Pro is probably the most immersive one out of all the phones I've used. I mean, the display is vivid and sharp, the colors are great, and all you get is screen, so no interruptions from punch holes or notches. Now let's move on to the interface and OS, and by far this one is my favorite one out of all Android phones. I like using gestures so I can easily swipe up to get to my app, swipe down to get to my notifications. Since it's a big phone, I don't like reaching all the way to the top with my second hand or potentially drop it using one hand. So swiping down from the uh, home screen is really clutch. Now I know Samsung does the same thing while swiping down and up to get to your apps and notifications, but one thing that beats it for me is the gestures of going back. If I want to go back, all I need to do is swipe down from either left or right. And with the Samsung, you would really have to think about which one it is, which tab is to go back button, especially using the OnePlus for so long and going back to the Samsung. I always pause and think like, where is the back button? Which side is it? Whereas on the OnePlus, I can just naturally do it from any hand, any side. But my favorite going back gesture is from Huawei from swiping from the side. Now, Android Q should be doing this to a lot of other Android phones in the future. So if OnePlus does add this feature into its phone, then by far this will be hands down my favorite Android OS. Another experience I do get from the OnePlus 7 Pro, not from a lot of other phones, is the lock screen gestures. I can go on Facebook, YouTube, or just turn on the flashlight straight from the lock screen and I don't have to put much effort into doing it. I can just draw a letter like an M or an O and I can just go straight into the app without even turning on the phone. The battery life is great for the light user like me who just go on Facebook, Instagram, do a little Google search, or even watch some videos. So it can probably last a person like me maybe until the next halfway until the next day. Now, if you are a heavier user, then this phone can easily last you until the end of the day. Not like some phones where they have smaller batteries and they pretty much last you halfway through the day. So this phone, I am confident that it will last a lot of people throughout the day easily. So for the consumer who knows more about tech, like what chip it runs and what's the resolution of the screen, then this phone is probably up your alley because you guys know that this phone is good value, especially it's more of a flagship line or the specs reaches more to a flagship model phone where you don't have to pay a thousand or more than a grand to get almost the same exact performance. So after using this phone for a while, I feel like this is the great phone for them because you know what you want. Whereas if you buy this phone for your parents, 
then I would say it would do way more than what they're asking for. So I feel like the value they're getting out of it is not as much as a person like you. So overall, it's a really good phone, but the only thing that's lacking for me is the camera and the light. If you're more of an indoors guy or a nightlife person, then the pictures coming out of this camera may not be the best. And that's just from my experience comparing to other phones that I have. And by far, I just hope that the next updates will fix this performance and that's what I'm looking for. When I get the next update, I will make another video letting you guys know what I think about the camera and how it performs. So if you wanna check that out, be sure to subscribe. And of course, follow me on Instagram and you can check out what I'll be doing and maybe just get in a little sneak peek before these videos come out. I do have links down below if you wanna check this phone out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.